That's like a little houseboat. I love it. At least probably gonna come out with a mullet or no hair at all. So uh, we'll go check this out. Oh my God, it's better than Universal. A new Walmart, how exciting. Welcome to a new day in Florida. Uh, it's a nice sunny morning. It's perfect temperature today. It's what, 26 or 27 something? 27 now. It's gone up to 27. Uh, so just right, nice and fresh. It not is too early hot. though, it's only 10 past 10. Yeah, so um, who knows what the day will bring. Uh, we are heading out to somewhere new today. For us, we are going to historic downtown Sanford. Uh, that's what Google calls it, historic downtown Sanford. A lot of people um, will know Sanford from where you used to fly in back yeah, in the day. Yeah, Tui used to fly there and we, we've flown there a couple of times a long, long time ago, back in the 2000s. Air 2000 flights, yeah. didn't we? But we've never actually been to um, explore. Nick's Googled it. Um, the lady yesterday when we were in that bar down in Lake... Ivanhoe. Like, yeah, Ivanhoe said, go check out downtown Sanford, it's very nice. So Nick Googled it and says it does look really nice. Well, I had a conversation with ChatGPT this morning and told it, I said, can I have a consultation with you? And um, <laughs> I'd like you to um, let me give you all my requirements before you suggest anything. And it was like, yep, go ahead. So I said, no theme parks. Um, I want charming American towns with lots of breweries, coffee shops, and healthy food. Mm. And it suggested everything we've been to Mount Dora, it suggested Winter Park, and I said, I've been to all them, continue to, 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 to yes. suggest something. And um, it came back and said, um, go to uh, downtown Sanford. So I Googled it and I looked and I thought, oh my God, yes. Chat GTP is like an AI assistant. Um, so you can use them as like your personal assistant, your travel agent, your whatever. It'll plan a day for you. It'll if you say to it, you wherever you want to go. plan me a day in Orlando It'll without with this. It'll itinerary and stuff like that. It'll say, go to Kiki's for breakfast between yeah. 10 and whatever. Um, if, if, you say, if you say you want to do a day that's not going to cost anything, it will work it out for you mm. and tell you what to do. It's brilliant. Mm. So that's where we're going to go, downtown Sanford. So hopefully it's nice. We've had no breakfast. We had just had a coffee. So we're in anticipation of uh, finding a coffee shop or something. We have a clipper ship there as well. Ooh. And uh, tonight then we are heading back and we're going to Sunset Lakes, is it? Down near Margaritaville. Um, yes. With the Bazers the wharf. and um, some lodgers from um, our Facebook group and the Bazers Facebook group. Um, and we're going to, yeah, the wharf. We've never been there before. Never heard of it, in fact. No, I've never heard it. But it's probably one of those that we've seen loads of times, but we've never really taken probably. notice. Um, so we're going to go there for a meal. Yeah. Hi, Minnie! Right. Now I'm going to some Disney today and I've been able to say hello to her. four minutes away and um, the first stop will of course be some breakfast um, so we need to find a nice coffee house. I think next time we come what we'll do is we'll do the Sunrail train like we yeah. said on the previous log because all the stations keep seeing them the stations all it's, the way it's signposted and it's just and, and when I was looking this up this morning it said there were a free trolley train from the station to the to downtown mm -hmm. and I would imagine that when the winter park stop is you're probably going to get the same thing there if, or it's actually in town and it's walking distance the hammered lamb that was on the Sunrail yesterday. Um, so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of stops that take you to these yeah. little charming towns. So yeah. I think next time what we'll do is we'll park at Old Town Kissimmee and get the train up and spend a whole day just driving yeah. up and stopping at these places. The Sanford Arch there. Oh, it's become cobbled. Yeah, balls. historic district down here. A dollar tree, very historic there. Very um, cultured. Chaining. We've not been in Dollar Tree this time, probably the, the first time we've never been in a Dollar Tree. Um, so, we're heading down to the historic district. There's a zoo here as well, apparently. I saw a sign for a zoo. Um, it's already changed, hasn't it? As soon as yeah. you drove through that arch, yeah. it's, it's become very 
charming town yeah. America. That's the best way to describe it, like charming town. It reminds me of somewhere, and I can't remember what it was called. Everywhere it reminds us somewhere. It? No, it reminds me of that place where we went into that big library that time. Oh, um, uh, Winter Haven. Is that what it was? Yeah. Although I'm not going to any libraries today. Let's have a look at some um, things. Pizza, brewery and tap room. It's got a, it's got a pilot mountain State look as well, farm. I think. Ooh, look at that. For, uh, presume that's it? for Halloween. And then some nice um, looking things down here. But it looks nice on an evening. There's lights all the way across the street. It's so long. Oh, a barber shop. I might get me a haircut. Yeah. You won't be getting this cheap at Celebration. Craft beer. Hofferbacks. There is a lot of um, craft breweries. It's yeah. like it's famous for craft breweries. Oh my God, look at the little clock there. Well, I missed it. In 200 yards. Avenue. Should we go to the end and see where the lake is and then kind of uh, head back and because we're gonna have breakfast here, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. Come down to the marina and I love it already because it's got a swing which I have to have a little go of. Oh, it's got a mini yes. can swing. Oh look, there's the clipper ship thing. Oh yeah. This is nice. What lake are we on? Could just do with an iced coffee now. I don't know actually. Yeah, look it up. Right, Nick's just looked it up and this is Lake Monroe. That's like a little houseboat. That's like a Westwood, it looks like a Westwood, doesn't They've it? They've got their own decking on there as well. Upstairs as well? Yeah. Oh my god. Have you seen that one? one. Where? There. Oh, this looks weird. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'd love to stay in something like that. I bet you can get that on Airbnb, you know. Yeah, you know, probably. Oh, it's a look. House, boat. It's famous what? Famous tire. Tire. Famous house. Oh, famous tiny houseboat. Oh, tiny, yeah. Famous houseboat.com. If you want to stay in that by the looks of it. I'd I love it. it. I'd love it. It's going upstairs. Yeah. Right, so this is the ticket office for uh, the Barbara Lee, which is the clipper ship. And um, you can do lunch and dinner cruises. And the clipper ship's behind us right yeah. now. So these are the menus as of October 2023. Um, it doesn't tell you how much the actual meal is. I presume that's included in your ticket, but then you've got your cocktail prices, which are cheaper than Disney. And um, that's the company there and the phone number or the website if you want to book it on. St. John's River Ship. Dot co dot com. Two hour cruise special for $25 there and bar and food drinks available. Oh, yeah. October Halloween specials. And then uh, you've got a drink of the month, the Grave Digger, in a skull cup. I'm absolutely loving this. We're not even in the town yet, we're just literally like in the, in the marina area, aren't we? We've already put it on his list of to-dos. We want to stay in there. Staying at the houseboat. That is an absolute next. must. And then on a night we could be able to walk down that street with all the lights yeah. on and then enjoy the restaurants and then come back and chill in the um, air-conditioned houseboat. Nick's just checking this out on Airbnb because it's on there and it's £120. It's pounds or dollars? £120 per night. Per night. It's, it's a minimum two night stay, yeah. which would be fine. Does it say how many bedrooms or anything like that? Um, hold on, it's got... So I don't know if that one's on um, Airbnb or not. So it's on, if you Google, if you put in the web address, famoustinyhouseboat.com or whatever was on the sign, it takes you to their Airbnb listing. Um, and it says it's one bedroom, two guests, one bath. One bedroom? Yes. Two guests? Yes. Mm. So you can sleep on patio. So the big parking lot there, just close to the marina, but it did look like there was quite a lot on the main street, so we're going to head back there, get a uh, space and um, search for some um, breakfast. You can tell when you're entering the, um, the downtown yeah, district, it's all because of all the pavement changes. Yeah. As you enter and as you exit. Ooh, the trolley stop there. Free trolley stop. Oh yeah, that's the trolley, I think, that takes you from Sunrail to downtown. Right, so we've just got parked up there. We've got two hours free, and uh, now we're going to make our way down the street and uh, see what we can find. It feels like we're in Storybrook on there. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Time, it? But with decorations. <laughs> Very. I, I love these kind of. I don't know what to call them. Just clean, charming, American, charming, charming, rejuvenated yeah. towns. 
There's a lot of them now. Yeah. Wonder made schmalls shop. And ice cream parlor as well. And ice cream parlor. Well, we'll have breakfast first and Should maybe. Cookies. We're cooking marshmallows. Mm. So there's a little sign there, City of Sanford, the auto train straight ahead, the zoo straight ahead, City Hall and Civic Court to the right. Every street, look at the little clock, that's, that's the clock that you missed there, look, yeah. Books and record store. Although I have everything on my Kindle now, I still like to have a little uh, mooch around at books. I used to love my book collection, but uh, it's much easier now, it's all on my Kindle. Irish pub, The Sullivan. Oh, oh no, it's closed. I feel like I've gone into um, a shop on Back to the Future. Lee's having his hair done. You can just see him over there, actually. They're just putting a, a hot towel around. It's a very old, traditional-looking place. Moose head on the wall. Lee's probably going to come out with a mullet or no hair at all. Lee's just had his hair cut. Just had my hair cut, finally. Turn around the middle of $20. Not maybe much left. A little, maybe a little bit short, but... It's short. <laughs> $20 and a, and a um, pay for 15 and kept a bit. It's a barber shop and it's like really traditional, traditional barber shop. As I said when he was sat down, it's like I was on Back to the Future. Yeah. Like they've gone in for like. I half, half expect them to be serving like steak and shakes while you're having your hair done. It feels a bit short. It, it looks a bit short. Yeah. You can see your skin. Here's this Halloween snowman type thing. Freaky. It looks like a clown. Mm. It's a clown, in fact. Yeah. From a McDonald. Right, we just found this place called Henry's Depot and it's got little different things inside it. So it's got coffee and pizza and things. So uh, we'll go check this out. Ooh, it's like a, a little food hall type place. Oh yeah, craft coffee bar. That sounds good. I can see cakes and things. There's a pizza place. Pizza oven. Sandwiches. You would not imagine this from the outside. No, you wouldn't have thought that. I'm glad we carried on walking because we we're gonna we we're just about to turn around, weren't we? Oh the greenery creamery. Ice cream. Oh look at this one here. Craft coffee bar. Um, oh Ooh. Oh now I want some lost sand job. Uh, maybe we can get food from one place and take it to the coffee place is like noodles or something yeah Ooh, spicy miso ramen and then this place down here they do food because i've seen people eating right we're just ordering a coffee from this place the mahogany coffee company and uh, see what this is like pecan um, cheesecake to share to start with because there's lots of places in here so let's just try a few different places. I want the Japanese pork dumplings to get six of them for eight dollars and I want the garlic knots down there as well. Right. Mm. You can taste the cinnamon. I don't know where from but you can taste the cinnamon. Mm. Yeah but not, not a lot. I kind of wish I got that now. <laughs> so I got a pumpkin, I got a cappuccino with a pumpkin spice flavouring. Yeah, Lee got a mocha iced coffee. That's good. I need to try that. Mm. I need to try it. It's so chocolate. It might be a bit too sweet for you, but I absolutely love that. How is it? Beautiful. Very good. Amazing. <laughs> How about it now? Pumpkin spiced um, cappuccino. It tastes like ginger, more like a yeah. ginger cake rather than. Well, I don't really know what pumpkin tastes like because it always tastes oh, of cinnamon yeah. when you have it. But I love this place again. That's nice. Somewhere new again, the it that we've found. Just love it. I know. I picked two more dishes we're having. You know what it makes me want to do? Go road tripping again. <laughs> now that we're finding all I wish you would. I would love to do road trip. Right, next thing we've ordered, we've ordered from this um, this Yuri Giri ramen project so I've ordered some um, I'll show you on the screen what I did so I ordered these um, basically pot stickers with um, soy vinegar soy vinegar chili dripping dipping sauce you get six of them it's basically pot stickers and I was tempted by some of these but I've also seen some garlic knots further down which I'm going to order so um, you do it electronically you put your mobile number in and it texts you when it's ready and we just sat over here 
in the coffee section and she said you can bring your food and drink needed at the bar. They all kind of work together. Yeah. So, so you order all your food in different locations and you can just sit anywhere. Right, so all the ordering in here are all done by these terminals. It's just help yourself type thing like I've just showed you. So I've just been down to the pizza place and ordered some um, some garlic knots with parmesan, mozzarella and a, uh, and a uh, tomato sauce. What have I got? You're sharing that. Right, our first um, bit of food has arrived. That's steaming hot. With some chopsticks. Right, let me get the uh, little look. chili sauce out. Hold on. So, what is it again? Pork? It's pork uh, dumplings. Yeah. It, it, had an, it had another name, but I can't pronounce it. So that came from um, Yuguri Ramen Project. Right, so you get six of these. So they are pot stickers, but they're boiled, they're not, they're not fried, so they're a little bit soggy. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. soggy pot stickers. What is so, that, soy sauce? I think it's like a chilli sauce. Let me try it. I can see this dripping everywhere. Wait a minute. Mmm. Oh my God, the sauce is amazing. It's like a vinegar. What about the actual pot sticker? Mm. Or dumpling, whatever it's called. They're nice. They're better when they're grilled, but they're nice. They're really nice. I think Lee likes them because he had to very work good. for five minutes. Yeah, very good. We've just been ramming them in. I think I might prefer these to the, to the fried ones, actually. I, like, uh, I don't like the slipperiness. No, I, I, like the, okay. I like the crispiness when they're fried. These are boiled, so they've got that, that slipperiness to them. Almost a bit sluggish, but they're nice. How's my hair? Very nice. It's still thin. This feels heavy and hot. So these are garlic knots, which I've not had this time because we don't have the universal passes. So I ordered them here. I ordered extra cheese, extra mozzarella, and a tomato sauce to go with them. So we've gone healthy, yeah? Oh, my goodness. My <laughs> goodness me, look at them. What's the um, sauce? Like a, uh, like a tomato? Like a tomato oh God, look how much there is. It's like a jar of it. Pretty now. I'm just gonna get that little one to try. Oh my God, look at the butter. It's oh so my goodness, butter. it's so healthy. Oh my God, look at that. Don't you just love America? <laughs> mm. Oh, it's garlic butter. Right, straight into the tomato sauce. Here we go. Oh my God. It's better than Universal. Ten times better. Oh my god, I'm stuffed those garlic knots. <laughs> there were so many of them. They were delicious. You were supposed to get six, I think we got 12. There were so many and oh. everything we just had was really good. Um, so when we walked past we looked at this place and we thought it looked thought like it a, were church. a church. It and it was only because the sign at the front where the church sign would be actually said coffee shop that we decided to walk oh. in. And then when we did walk in it was like, oh my god, it's like we're in Winter Garden. But I've just, I've just done something controversial. I put on Instagram that I actually think this place blows Winter Garden off the board. It does. It's bigger, it's got boat rides, it's got everything that Winter Garden's got. It's not got the, the, the central reservation with the lights no. on, but it has got the swing. Well, yeah. It's got coffee shops. Um, it's just, every, it ticks every box. Mm. It's amazing. Want cake? I mean, I don't, but I'm yes. saying, want cake? Yes. The baker is at the end there. Should we go and have a look? Well, can we go and have a look, but I don't want cake. Cubicle in the door. It's like a Chinese takeaway, isn't it, inside? <laughs> yeah. There's, there's no cakes. You've got to go in and round. And if you're not buying, I don't really want to do that, so I'll have to give that one a miss. So when chat um, GPT told me about this place this morning, I went and then did some Googling and looked at the images and look at the bit of a write-up on it on Wikipedia. And one thing that it said is that it was famous for craft breweries. And I must say we've passed about 10 of them so far, but the best one is the one we're going to call at in a minute on the right-hand side, just down the back, the, the south end of the street where the uh, marina is. We saw it on the way in and um, I can't wait to try this. Coffee, tea and sandwiches there as well, what have we missed? So yeah, all the side streets have all, are all loaded with like yeah. food, so drink. Like... So each intersection, it shows you what's there. A bit like what Mount Dora did. Wi-Fi zones, yeah. antiques, liquidators, breweries, coffee brewery. Ooh, that sounds that nice. The to Dragon's the Vault. Dragon. What is it? Must be something for Halloween. Oh, there's another uh, hair place here, Kenneth Ray Hair Design. Yeah, that'll cost you more than twenty dollars. Maybe I'll try that next time. Yeah, the, with the fact that he's called himself Hair Design, I bet he charges a bit more than twenty dollars. Another brewery, craft beers, Greek oh, no, place. Yeah. What is the sign? It says um, brewery. Nice. Um, well, it's not running at the moment, but uh, yeah, 
fountain, wildflower cocktails. Maybe you've got to put money in the meter. It looks like there's a, um, a theatre down there, cinema. Creature from the Black Lagoon is on the Ritz. And it presents Mary Poppins and the Creature from the, the Black Lagoon. And then just over the road, we've noticed a big brewery. So we're going to go check that out. Right, so here we are in the brewery. Nick's got a D's beer. Yeah, 20 ounce D's beer. How's it, how's it taste? Um, very much Blue Mooney. Blue Mooney. So everywhere you go in America now, it has this similar vibe. It was Dallas. Well, not everywhere, but certain, every certain brewery, places have this, this every, kind of area that, that's like this. Yeah, but every brewery we've been in in America, like craft breweries, it was same at Charleston, it was Savannah, it was Winter Park, Winter Garden, um, downtown, it was Dallas, all the same sort of thing with the tanks at the back and then like a real sticky feel, like old fashioned bar at the front, like a modern bar, like Coyote Ugly, wasn't in it? In the other room, just behind Nick, I'll show you in a minute, they've got a, uh, a cinema. A cinema? They have a movie night. Oh, that screen there. They have a movie night, it just said. All right. Well, a brilliant idea, isn't it, really? Get people in for beer and a movie night. Yeah. So this place is called um, Dee's Brothers Brewery and um, Lee's actually going to put one of our cards on the board so if you do visit, send us a picture of this card to let you know you've been here and you're sat at this table. There we go. There we go. Lodge Guys card. It's almost like our stickers again isn't it? So last year when we went on our road trip to, um, like when we drove from Los Angeles to Orlando we put stickers. Um, on like Air 51, well, Air 51 yeah. Yeah. those stickers are still there. People went last month and they were sending us pictures. pictures. They have faded, faded a little bit, but yeah. they are there. And our dollar is still at Robbie's when we went on our road trip in uh, 2020? 20, yeah, 2020. 20, no, 2022. 2022 yes. yeah. uh, wrong one, wrong one, dear. Get onto this one. We got that yours. <laughs> is this the man or a woman? That's the man. So we're just saying each town that we visited so far have added they've had like a little theme. So yesterday when we went to Baldwin Park it was very health and gyms and Indeed. martial arts, things like that. This one is beer, dance, studios, cinema and kind of like performing arts and things like that. Um, each town has its own feel to it and its own vibe. Like here it's very much beer orientated. Just as I'm walking past plant pots that are beer barrels, a homebrew shop, two two German bars and um, I love it. Right, we're almost back in the Orlando area and we've come to a Walmart we've never been to before. It is a superstore, but doesn't look like it's going to be a tourist one, so hopefully it's not going to be rammed to the rafters. Oh, just, waiting, exciting. just waiting for Lee to find a space and park and then we'll get in there and see ride. what bargains we've got. Do, do, do. A new Walmart, how exciting. Looks like a nice big one as well. Are we splitting up? Bye! No, we've got a list, we need to get it done. <laughs> and then we'll go and uh, have our own little shop. Gonna get some collagen, I like to get collagen from uh, Walmart. And our friends back at home wanted some Walmart Equate cold flu and multi-symptom relief because apparently it's very good stuff. Yeah, and ever since I was looking at them, I've had a sore throat looking down that bloody aisle. How exciting. They've got all the Christmas stuff out. Let's have what's these? Sure. Sugar cookie body wash. <laughs> like rubbing yourself in a cake. Um, well, let's have a look. Let's see if we need any um, Walmart baubles. No. Unless you want to swap your Disney one and then I fully endorse it. I bet there's some nice ones here. Look at all these. They're good. Oh, somebody sent us something like this, didn't they? And we thought yeah, you it thought edible. it were edible, yeah. $1.98. That's really good value, that. We could get that, blow it up and put it outside the lodge door so people can... Over the door? Yeah, over the door. It's bigger than the bleeding <laughs> Halloween hasn't even been yet and... Halloween is done, there's nothing oh, left and it's still little, beginning of October. Little houses and stuff down there, little Christmas gingerbread houses up at the top. Top shelf here. Yeah. yeah. Little houses. Oh, look here, look. Al Nick, Alpine Lodge and Black something Lodge, Black Bear Lodge. I prefer that one, with the green and brown. You can make, uh, oh look at these at the bottom. Tree farm, Christmas tree farm. Oh yeah, you can, well you can buy your look own. Look at all yeah. these, yeah, you can make your own little village. You can pet shop. Fortune. Which one are we getting for Lodge? Which oh one? God, they, they fit into a small packet. Yeah, that's not bad. Have we got the Sanderson sisters? I doubt it. Oh. 
Th hey, that's not bad. Thirty-four ninety-eight for the wicked pumpkin Which one creeper. On Look at the size of that. Look at this one. <laughs> well, it's just a power adapter. You put it in your car and you have it sat on the seat at the side of you so when you're going past people you scare them to death and uh, ridiculous. probably not, uh, a that. little bit dangerous. Four and a half foot tall that one. Harry Potter. This is a new one. Alcohol ice cream. Bourbon caramel. Cheesecake moonshine. Mocha chocolate moonshine. Hmm. Found Nick. I'm going to show him this alcoholic ice cream see what he thinks. What do you think to this? What is it? Alcohol ice cream. I love it already. What flavour? <laughs> Bourbon. Ooh. Moonshine. How strong? I don't know. Or don't is it say. alcohol flavoured? Um, well, I'm sure you can't get drunk on it, but you never know. Um, we must be 21. I don't know. It dumps to what percentage? Oh, 5%. That's That's only the strongest beer. Right. Are you sure we've got enough room for all this? Well, you'll have to just leave some clothes if, if we haven't bought any clothes. Well, well, do you think how long them will last you to at least till next trip? Yeah. Them's for Sandra. Them's for me. Them's for well, one of them's for me. Them's for Cameron. Them's for Plain. I got packets because they're lighter and we yeah. can use the tub we've got at home. And then um, some mash because we loved it. Oh, what we got that for? Melton. That's my collagen back there. Oh, right, okay. Uh, and then I got loads of different. I got. Almost every flavour mash there is. <laughs> and I want to take my mum some and Jane some and stuff like that. All the mashes. And then... Some herbs. I got a slow cooker for us for when we're yeah. making stews and I got one of them so you can just come and pick what else you want and get for your mum and dad. You think we've got quite enough um, spices and, and we seasonings? We need to empty our cupboard because this is going to replace everything that's in there. Just passing through the little town called Windermere. Uh, not the one in the Lake District, the one in Florida. Um, it's not as big as the other little towns, and it's not as it's not got that small town charm. That's the town hall just there in the distance behind the bush. It kind of has, but it's not as pedestrianised. Yeah, it's got lots of roundabouts though. Yeah. There's about five or six roundabouts so far. So we've done in Walmart hundred and thirty dollars later, and we I can't even I can't even think what we bought that cost that much. Can you? Powdered potatoes. But, well, yeah, we spent about sixty dollars on powdered potatoes. Um, we're heading back to the bazaars now. Gonna get, gonna have half an hour chilling, um, freshen up, and then head down to Sunset Walk. Wouldn't it be horrible to live in a house like that? Look at the size of it. It's absolutely humongous. Although I won't be keen on it. Oh, forget that one. Look at this one. This is a pizza place. Eh? It says pizza on it. Oh, so it's not a house. If it is, it's about ten houses. So the houses down here. This is one of like the most luxurious and expensive areas around Orlando. Um, and I remember when we came down here in... 2022? When we came for Christmas mm -hmm. and there was a house on this road further on the right hand side, a massive house on the lake and it had massive, um, what do they call them? They're not toy soldiers. Um, like, um, the Christmas soldiers. Uh, some at Cracker, no, uh, what is it? Nutcracker. Nutcracker. Yeah. Uh, big Nutcracker soldiers. They were taller than the house, they were about 30, 40 feet tall each, weren't they? Talk about spending money on on Christmas decorations and kind of going over the top compared to the UK. This house takes the world record. I think it might be just around this corner. We might have some Halloween stuff up this time. So here is Lake Windermere. Not the, again, not the one in the lakes. There we go. You can just see it. Can you <laughs> imagine that waking up for that in the morning and open opening your curtains and seeing all that outside? A few crocs looking up at you, alligators. Right, so this is the house. So the toy soldiers were taller than the house. I mean, look at that. That's something bigger than you'd see on like Dynasty. All pure white with like Roman pillars, straight onto the lake. You can just see it through the uh, the tree line there. What an amazing view, an amazing way of life to be able to have something like that. Instead, we've got a van. I love my van. Right, we're in the back of Baz's um, lovely um, futuristic te Tesla. We decided to drive in the back just in case. Um, Sit in the back. Impact, less impact in the back. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're on our way to the wharf. Is that right? Yep. At um, Sunset, Sunset Walk. Walk, yes. Which is just where we were in the villa. Yeah, not far. Two from days it. ago. Yeah. Like almost walking distance, really. <laughs> but what to Rock right, we're here and we're going to Rock and Brews uh, as they have a happy hour on, and then we'll go to the wharf. Last um, time we visited here was 
map. We saw it on an L and our dreaming vlog, didn't we? Yeah, we had a uh, meal here. We've never been back. Fish tacos, I remember. It was it all right, but I just don't know why we've never been back. It's well, it was kind of. We've never been during the day <laughs> yeah. when it's been light. We always came like yeah. a, we came at night time, didn't we? So we're just going for drinks, and it's nice not to, to be driving. Yeah. Um, so I can have an alcoholic drink. What are you gonna have? Um, maybe something like rum and coke or something like that. I might have a. I don't want beers. Well, I don't know what I want to start with. A bottle of water. What? A seltzer water. Right, so the uh, happy hour isn't great, to be fair, but the prices of the drinks are pretty good anyway. So I'm gonna go for Stairway to Heaven, which is uh, rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, coupon, coconut, and nutmeg. It's only a dollar off draft beers, yeah. and they're only $7 each anyway. Yeah, so, so it's not bad anyway. Cheaper than Disney before the discount. Yeah. gone for a mango car which is my drink of this trip uh, I've gone right off blue moon but this is like the blue moon mango that they used to do in Miller's but they've stopped doing it I don't know I just have it's because they stopped serving it at home and I've lost the taste for it Lee's got the stairway to heaven which is probably gonna kill him with the amount of booze in it anyway so that's probably why they call it that give it to you let me try it was called the stairway to heaven and I must admit with that um, shot it put in I think I'm halfway to heaven already but um, it wasn't the greatest of um, happy hours so we're gonna go over to the restaurant where we're eating and our um, the people that we're meeting there the uh, people from our Facebook group and the Pfizer's Facebook group are there already I was just gonna say how I would do that <laughs> it's part of, of, of the flair of YouTube I'll teach you Pfizer how to do it I was just saying, what, flailing your hands. Yeah, that <laughs> drink was called Stairway to Heaven. I think I'm halfway to heaven. Well, I can the feel alcohol it. in it. I'm surprised you can hold that camera. <laughs> it's the curb. Um, That's why we have image stabilization. I forgot yeah. what I was saying now. That's the drink. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and, and um, these guys are on Baz's group as well. So the Baz has invited us to, to come. The guys don't even know that we're coming. So I hope they're not disappointed that we're going to leave. Their faces they might will leave. drop yeah. in a second. Right, here we go. We've obviously walked past this place a few times and never really um, noticed it. So we're going into the wharf. Seafood place. Yes. And yet, like, we, so really never, we, we walked past it twice last week and never noticed it. Actually, now I remember it because I remember the live um, music on stage the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thought I wore a candle. <laughs> it's a drink. <laughs> Just ordered food. We've been chatting for the last half hour. Like garlic. Maxine's really. ordered aliens. The um, the alien thing that like the face huggers, which she's I'm gonna dip her face in. I got the shrimp and mushroom pasta. The, the what? Shrimp and mushroom pasta. Right. Okay. And I got. I blew the bowl out and just said sod it. So I got double lobster tail with like garlic butter, garlic mash, and asparagus. And um, these guys have got um, New York style strip steak. Well, it looks like a salad. That looks very healthy. Raw tuna. Tuna. Raw tuna. Oh, raw. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. I thought that were tomatoes. I just looked... Oh, no thanks. I'll stick with my lobster. I'll stick with my steak. Yeah, it does look nice actually. It's about eight inch thick, but yeah. I'll stick with that. Yeah. <laughs> Key lime pie. Nick has got a, um, what is that? a banana bread pudding. Try it. I've already tried it. Key lime pie is amazing. It's not. I don't know why I'm calling it banana because there's no. I want to try that too. It's dense and it's solid and it's got loads of caramel in it. And I've already tried the sauce. The key lime pie is amazing as it well. It beats Walmart. Oh my god, it was so loud in there, but the food was very nice. I'm glad we're out there. I've had to put cornwall in my ears. So we're just passing Esteban's kitchen here with the live music on. And we've said it before, it's a Friday night, so but it's not very busy here. Um, so it's a really nice place just to come if you want like a really nice chilled evening in Orlando. We're just driving past some Halloween decorations, even though they actually look more like Christmas decorations. Oh, there was a Jack Skellington. Yeah. Is it Skellington? Skellington, yeah. Um, Tell me what film it's from. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, there you go. You Are never, you impressed? You've never watched it though, have you? No, I haven't. Welcome to the next day. So that food last night at the wharf was very, very good. Um, 
I can mention on the vlog what had happened for the last two independent restaurants that we'd been to regarding the tip things. No, nothing to do with tip. Just random charges. One of them was like yeah, so I meant random charge, like right on top of the tip. Yeah. So when we went to a Cafe Tutu Tango the other day, I think we mentioned it. Um, they added on a three percent. Um, charge medical and pension charge to help pay for the staff's medical and pension and, and things like that. And then last night they added a what, what, how much was it? Like one percent. A one percent walk fee. Walk fee to pay for the entertainment and things on the, on the Sunset Boulevard, whatever it's called. But they didn't tell you. It wasn't on the menu or anything like that. And Just you only on found bill. it when you found it on the yeah. bill. And then when you looked it up on the website, it told you what it was for. So there seems to be. It's very deceptive. You're getting more and more charges over here. That's on top of the bill as well. Um, so, you know. The chain restaurants tend not to do it, but the independents tend to do it. Yeah, which, you know. Which is fine. It's if they warn you, you, unfortunately. If they warn you, that's fine. But dropping it on you, so you can't make an objective decision as to whether you want to dine there and pay that extra 3%. I mean, it's not the, it's not the money. It's the principle of it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, back to the food. The food was delicious. Um, I probably won't get that tuna thing again, but it's just, it's just what I fancied last night. But I, when I saw everybody else's meals and they looked a lot nicer than mine, there was nothing wrong with it. It was just there were steaks. Oh, that steak that Chris had was gorgeous. I had um, a lobster lobsters, tail, which was really cheap for lobster tail, and you got yeah. two of them as well. So I was like, oh, uh, maybe I should have got something else. Although it was very nice, and the key lime pie was delicious. Can I just say, the bread pudding. It, it was, but it's banana bread pudding, but it has no bananas in it. I don't get it. This is what I don't understand. The one that's in Walmart is like sliced banana and whipped cream on it. And that's not what I wanted. So I checked with him before I ordered it and he said, no, it's like a heavy warm bread. But it, oh my God, it was it was just amazing. It was more like banoffee, but no hint of banana at all. So I would go back there. The only problem was it was very, very loud um, yeah. with the- um, The entertainment. The, the live, yeah, we paid a dollar for that. <laughs> the live um, singers on stage, and we all said, Baz just couldn't hear. I, couldn't hear. I had to put some earplugs in, and we would, if you want somewhere where you want to go and chat, um, it's not the ideal place. Because we sat outside. I was ha almost having to like lip read everybody, like, because, um, yeah, it was just, you can sit outside, but they also pump the music outside as well. So it was quite a loud place. Um, so just to take that into consideration. Um, but um, again, we've said it again, we love that like, Margaritaville place. It's just really nice and relaxed. Last night was Friday, it was a bit busier, um, but it was still, still relaxed. So I'm gonna finish the vlog. So thank you for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below and see you on the next vlog where right now we're heading to Typhoon Lagoon. That'll be the next vlog. We're not going in water. Bye-bye.